Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 18 of the Adobe as Anime tutorial series. So today we're going to look at how to import images and SVG files inside of Adobe as Anime Canvas. So in order to import images, you simply go to file and go to import and then on me in my desktop, uh, I have an image, a JP's image. So I'm just going to open that out. And there you go, you have the image. You can resize the images uh, as you want, but usually what I suggest is to open up Photoshop uh, and then resize the image to the resolution you want and then import it back uh, down onto Adobe as Animate CC because you don't want uh, the, your file to be very heavy because you're targeting the web for it. So in order to import SVG files, I'm going to use Illustrator right here uh, so that I can bring uh, export an SVG and then import it out here. So over here, the images, what you can do with it is you can also crop it down. You can also add in animations to this, um, uh, to the crop. So if you actually were to um, have the keyframe set over here, you can actually see that you can have such animations just like that. So it is quite easy. There you go. So you can have animation to the crop as well. So you can also uh, rotate this out. So simply rotate this out. And there you go. So you can have awesome animations like this. Uh, there you go. So now inside of Adobe Illustrator, what you can do now is you can just create a new file just over here. So let's just say web over here. And then I'm going to create an SVG file so that I can import that out in Adobe as Animate. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to symbols and then now uh, open symbol library. Uh, let's go to uh, mobile phone. All right. So let me just grab this icon right here. All right. Let me just crop that out. Let me just crop the canvas out just like uh, this and then save. I, I'm going to export this now or save as. All right. So let's go to save as and I'm going to choose SVZ. I'm going to say SVZ. Let's save it as SVZ 1.1.1. 1. 1. All right. There you go. So this is now saved as SVZ file. Let me go back to Adobe as animate. And over here, I'm going to import that out. So import my SVG file. There you go. There's my SVG file right over there. So this kind of looks different than uh, what you see in um, uh, Illustrator. So let me just save this again. Save for web over there. Uh, or this may be due to <coughs> the error in his animate itself. So let me just preview this in browser. And all right. So this does not seem as if it is exported right there. So some of the graphics here you can see right there. So let, let me just change the version of this. The save as SBZ. That's it. All right. Replace that out. And I'm going to say SBZ 1.0. All right. So let me just save that out right there. Let me just delete this out. Let me just import uh, that SBZ file over there. And some of the colors are lost over here. But anyways, you can see that this is uh, like um, a very uh, high resolution file. So you, you have no quality loss over here. And all of this is what you can do in HTML5 itself. This is not a flash graphics. So you can ha also have vector graphics as well as raster graphics, just like as you would in flash. And you can have some really cool animation with it. So hope you guys learned something as always. This is how you import um, SVG files and images inside of Adobe as animate. Uh, so as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.